Sandy Krebs, but you can call me Chef Viva Vagana. In these videos, I'll be sharing with you how anyone can make delicious vegan food. So, let's cook. Chef Viva Vagana here. Today I'm going to share one of the basics with you. This is Bell Peppers 101. So, let's cook. If you're here watching this video, I'm so glad that you are because beginner cooks have to begin somewhere. People don't spring forth from the womb knowing how to cut a bell pepper. So, let's jump in. First, I'm going to show you the proper way to julienne and dice a bell pepper, and then I'm going to show you the way that I do it. So, the proper method is to cut the ends off. Then you're going to remove the seeds from the middle. You can always save those end pieces to use in other things if you do it this way. The only time that I ever do it this way is if it's very important to me for some reason to have very uniform pieces. And then we're gonna cut off the septum. I'm holding my knife flat and just kind of pulling it across here. The dimensions for a julienne pepper is one eighth of an inch by two and a half inches. So then with a rocking motion, you will just And you can see that you get really uniform size pieces doing this method. It's also easy just to line them up and again, holding the end of the knife on the board and with a rocking motion. So if having really uniform size julienne or dice is important to you, that's a good way to go. You can also cut bigger pieces, same way. Or if you want to do a batonne, I think is how it's pronounced you're doing the two and a half but quarter inch pieces instead of eighth inch pieces. So that'll give you larger julienne, if you will. And you can also line them up and cut them this way to get a larger dice. The way that I julienne or dice a bell pepper isn't the proper method, but you don't wind up with these end pieces that you have to save and do something else with. You're utilizing the whole bell pepper this way. So we're just gonna cut down around the center seed pod and we're going to do the same thing remove the septum I just kind of tap them to get the seeds off. Mm -hmm. 
And with the same rocking motion of the knife that we used to cut these other pieces of bell pepper, I'm going to hold the pepper at kind of an angle, not straight this way, but on a bias. And we're just gonna cut the pepper. Now you don't wind up with even pieces. It's definitely a more rustic look, but I kind of like to do a more rustic version of cooking. And then if you want to dice, you same way, just line them up. Of course, this isn't the perfect little pieces that you get when you're doing a proper julienne and dice, but I prefer kind of a more rustic look in most of my cooking. So I think that this is a way that you utilize more pieces of the bell pepper or more of the bell pepper and it's faster, easier. I hope you found Bell Peppers 101 useful. I hope you like and share the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So until next time, let's cook.